a series about different composers that I admire. This is Steve Owen speaking. Uh, we promised, uh, we had promised to talk about the great Buddy Baker, who worked for Walt Disney for many years as an arranger and composer. Um, one of my very favorite arrangements is The Wonderful World of Color, which you have heard the bass part. If you look on YouTube, you'll see that I uh, recorded just the bass part uh, for it as, as a lark. But uh, it is one of my favorite arrangements and songs. Uh, I believe they're using it again now, the song at California Adventure, some sort of a, a spectacular of color utilizing that song, done, of course, in a more modern way. But uh, <clears throat> I always enjoyed the end title credits for the uh, Walt Disney show from 1961 to, I guess, about 1969 when they changed it over, or 68 or something like that. But they did have it for many years at the end, and there were many versions of this song. But uh, now what happened was, uh, <clears throat> at one point, studying the Disney music, I was able to get what we call a conductor part which is like a reduction, just showing uh, just a few things about it. But it's not really uh, very informative because, uh, after all, it is just what it implies, a conductor part, which just shows like the time signature of the lead line and maybe a little bit of harmony, but all the instruments are really not laid out. But based on that thing, you know, I tried for many years to uh, try to figure out what the orchestration was on that. Now, uh, <clears throat> so I wrote out like many different arrangements of it, trying to capture it, and uh, I do love it. Uh, right here, this part right here. This is all within the songwriting of the uh, Sherman Brothers who wrote the song, which is great. Uh, but uh, they go into this uh, melody right here line. It's kind of similar to uh, the Beatles when they do Got to Get You Into My Life. They use this note and they go out on a limb. I really love that. I think it's so great. So that's really cool, you know. And then we have the woodwinds coming in an octaves. Then the trumpet takes over lead. And then back to the uh, melody with uh, the descending chromatic thirds, you know. Now we have violins in octaves uh, playing uh, the sweeping sound, which I love when I hear it on the soundtrack. It's all done in one beat, of course. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Now the trumpet again lead. Tritone. Timpanies that come in with eighth notes. And then for a moment, we have a flash of brilliance where Buddy goes out of the chord and goes into uh, a different chord while retaining that uh, E flat bass note. Which is fantastic. And then we go to uh, the A flat chord. At, w at this point, uh, there are many different versions. There's like uh, an octave in the brass, or an octave in a fifth, or there's like an open sound. You can have like an open chord where they use that. Of course, the uh, woodwind.
turbulence trilling at the top is really exciting, you know. That would be probably an octave higher. So they're trilling away, you know, while we have this uh, major chord. And uh, one of the wonderful things about uh, this song, The Wonderful World of Color, the wonderful thing about The Wonderful World of Color, it almost uh, paraphrases itself there, is at the end, the very last chord, Buddy uses uh, a trick that uh, a lot of arrangers used uh, in utilizing this uh, sound effect called forte piano, FP. So he strikes the chord with the orchestra, and immediately it drops down, it attacks at a forte volume and drops down immediately to a pian piano, which is soft. And then there's this crescendo, crescendo mark, and it opens up. So it's like, bang, and I really love that. Woodwinds are trilling, of course, and uh, his orchestrator Walter Sheets did such a fantastic job on this small orchestra, uh, utilizing voice leading and uh, just where everything would go. He had a, a few horns, several horns, three or four uh, trombones, several trumpets, and uh, let's see. a horn part. So that was really, really cool. When I would hear that, and I would hear that horn part, it turns back on itself. leading when you listen to this stuff and the arrangers and the orchestrators that do this they give your uh, ear like ear candy things to listen to to latch on to where this part is going these inner parts are going and uh, it's, it's just really wonderful I mean and the sound so um, sadly I don't think this orchestration exists anymore as uh, the Disney studio uh, often shreds has shred a lot of their stuff and uh, I would bet that probably this orchestration is gone. But what remains is the sound recording and, uh, of course, uh, the conductor part, which could be used to reconstruct uh, the sound with somebody skillful that could listen to the tape and uh, try to reconstruct it. But it was a wonderful memory of being a young person in uh, Sunday nights and listening to that end title. Uh, just love it. The beginning has a violin sweep, unison violins, kind of a squeak, could be an octave higher, and then of course the, the uh, trumpets would come in. So we've dissected that a bit, uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this because I, it's really wonderful.